Today we're going to be going over how to use Hashcat to unlock password protected files. Uh, the password protected file in question today is right here, it's secret.pdf. We try to open this, see its contents, we just get greedy with the password prompt and we don't know what it is. So we're going to want to change that. So the first thing we need to do is we need to use some kind of tool to extract a hash from the file that we can use to crack the password. Now, Kali has a bunch of default tools, or built-in tools, which we can use for this. Uh, they're all something to John. So the way we can find these is we just type locate to John. And here we can see a bunch of files. We're going to want to focus on the user bin section. See, all these are different, all these are different file formats that these uh, two John tools can uh, work against. But we're going to want to focus on PDFs, so we're just going to do a Control Shift F. See, you can see the PDF is two John is there. So now that we know the name of the binary, we're going to want to type PDF two John. We're going to put the name of the file. And we're going to output that to a document. In this case, we're just going to do crackme.txt. Now, to see the contents of the file we just created, just cat it. Here we can see that is a hash value. Something very important to consider is when you're using Hashcat, it doesn't work immediately with the output of these files, or the output of these tools. Um, they include the name of the file that you were working against. But when you're using Hashcat, you have to just have the hash value in the file you're cracking. So to fix that, you can just open in a text editor and delete out the name of the file. And make sure you delete that first colon as well. Now we have that done, we're going to want to have to find out uh, what mode or what hash mode we're going to run Hashcat in. Uh, easiest way to do that, you just go to Hashcat. Uh, just Google Hashcat example hashes and it'll bring you the first link. Here we have a list of every hash mode the Hashcat accepts. Um, so to sort this out, we're just going to highlight the first couple uh, characters of the hash value. Control Shift C that. We're going to search the page for it. And here we can see all the modes the Hashcat supports for PDF docs. Uh, this is a file that was just created, so we're going to assume that it's going to be the newest version of Adobe. So we're just going to use the newest, the uh, newest value, or sorry, the newest mode. So now to crack the file after our modifications earlier, all we do is hashcat dash m. The uh, value we found right here, ten seven hundred. The name of the file that we created with the hash. And then we're going to want to put our word list we're going to use. I'm just going to use Rocky since that's by default in Kali. It's very good if you're going to be working with, or if you think there's going to be a weak password involved. So use the share word list Rocky U dash O. Uh, all the dash O does is optimize its kernel, makes it speed up a little bit. So we're going to hit enter, give it one second, and it found the password already. Uh, if this is the first time looking at Hashcat, the output can be a little bit confusing. But it's uh, really simple when you get used to it. Here we can see recovered one out of one hashes. We only supplied one hash, so that's all that it recovered. You can see status is cracked. If, if it didn't work or if the password that you're looking for wasn't contained in the word list, uh, this would show different ones. It would say recovered zero out of one, you know, status wouldn't be cracked. But up here underneath the hash value, if you look at the very end after the colon, you can see this is the password value. So to verify that and check our document, we're just going to copy that. We're going to go back to our file, try to open it, put in the password, and here we go. Successfully cracked a PDF. A hashcat is a very nice tool and that's pretty much all there is to it. Till next time.